So if our um, if our program doesn't contain any symbols, the assembly process is completely trivial. We just simply go through each of the A and C instructions according to the hack machine language specification and trans translate the mnemonic into the binary instruction format. But when the assembly code contains symbols, so this is normally when we're using our own user-defined say variables or else we've got um, some loops in there, the process becomes slightly more difficult and actually requires two passes through the code to be able to do the assembly. So it's not this kind of one-to-one -one translation. We've actually got to do two passes through the code. And then we need to create a lookup table that contains all the predefined symbols and the numeric values. So this, these are the predefined symbols in the hack machine language. So the symbol screen, this is the base address of the screen memory map. The keyboard, this is the memory address of the keyboard. And we've got these kind of 16 registers from 0 to 15, R0 to R15. And then we've got these various um, symbols what are used for the virtual machine. So we create this lookup table of the symbols and then when we go through the code on the first pass, so the first time we go through the code, we need to look at for user-defined labels. So we need to just look through, scan through the code and every time we see a label, so that's something that's inside of a bracket, and, you know, might be typically used for loops. We need to add them to the table and then um, in the second pass of the code, we need to go through and look for user-defined symbols. So this is where we're essentially creating variables, so like at sum or at total. We add these on the second pass, and then we automatically allocate these and address in RAM. So we actually start at 16, so we know that the first 15 locations, sorry, 0 to 15, so the first 16 locations in RAM are for the registers R0 to R15, and then our user-defined symbols will then start at RAM 16. So these are done on the second pass. 